Welcome back. Well, Facebook is, we're talking about the debate last night. Dean Madigan was there watching it as well. Thought it was really good. Now, and your debate was very good. The first you. debate well, was I wasn't excellent. debating, but that was no, the first you. debate. But you yeah. were the moderator. Uh, that was a big chair. deal yeah. of the leaders, right. of course. Anyway. Right. Morrison and Bill Short. <laughs> okay, moving on to what we're talking about right now. Facebook is under fire again over how it policy, polices rather content on its site following backlash over the banning of an Australian breast cancer campaign. It's removed advertising for the Breast Cancer Network's fundraising drive, which features topless cancer survivors covering their breasts with cakes. The reason? Because it violates, supposedly, Facebook's policy on nudity. It's insulting that they've banned them when they live stream mass murder and uh, anti-Muslim rhetoric and homophobic diatribes. It's insane that they would ban something so beautiful and uh, thoughtful and supportive as, these, as this campaign. Here, here, Kate mm. Murray, that was on Sunrise yesterday, making a great point. For more on this, let's bring in our Masters of Spin, Matthew Bywater and Dee Madigan. Welcome to you both. Hey, guys. It is outrageous, isn't it, Dee? How can Facebook is saying that they just can't possibly police this because they've got to put in these wide-reaching yeah. algorithms? Yeah. Rubbish. We can put a person into space. Every bit of my Facebook page is filled up with Barechester Fireman holding kittens, which, mm. by the way, I'm completely okay with. <laughs> Why are men's boobs okay on there yeah. and not women's mm. boobs? I mean, this is actually sexist. Yeah. No, quite right. And also, when you get friend requests from robots, which happens a lot, a lot of those pictures are very provocative. They're scantily clad women in men's cases. Yeah. Uh, they're far worse than the images we're seeing on our screen now, yet Facebook has no problem with those, Matthew. Yeah. Well, what's bizarre about this, if you look at their community standards, they actually allow this. It actually says that nudity is not allowed, breasts are not allowed, particularly with nipples and so forth. Women's breasts are not allowed. Women's breasts, allowed. I should say, yeah, correct. Uh, but if it's in the case of, if it's a protest, it's fine, which is, to me, a little bit bizarre. But it actually mentions in our own community standards that if it is it to do with a cause, particularly breast cancer, it's okay. Yeah. So I don't, I don't understand what the problem here is given, with Facebook. Given how much mess Facebook is in at the moment, following the live streaming of the Christchurch massacre in particular, mm. wouldn't you just do a massive mea culpa yeah. and say, I'm so sorry, you know, yes, we understand this is offensive. They haven't, to, to me, they haven't gone far enough to no, say we're so yeah. sorry. In fact, they've backed it in a little bit going, oh, you know, if they just make changes to the ads, we'll let it happen. It's like, yeah. no, no, make changes to your platform and, to let it and happen. And you know what, it might just be a little window go into how big it is and how difficult it is for them to do it. It might be that it's just so, so difficult that they're playing this well, so line. so expensive. Maybe. They should say, I'm sorry, and turn the two Facebook O's and the two little pink cupcakes. Yeah, clever. There you go. Yes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're an advertising there man. There you go. Yeah, that's good. There, you've got that for free, Facebook. <laughs> and now, in a battle of the brands, Burger King in the US is serving it up to McDonald's. It's promoting not-so-happy meals as part of its campaign of mental health awareness. The slogan, no one is happy all the time. So what do you think about this, Dan? I mean, happiness is a nice message, but it's not reality. It's, it is playing the man right at their own game, isn't it? Yeah, but they're pretending that they're, you know, doing this for depression. If they're doing it for depression, then don't use your competitor to do it. Like, yeah. this is this yeah. is just stupid marketing, you know. If, if, they, if they think that, you know, having a, a, a what, what's some of their um, boxes called? Their... The Happy Meals. Uh, DGAF DGAF. boxes or something. Yeah. It's like, this is just trite virtue mm. signalling. Salty. That's, <laughs> that's <laughs> selling rubbish food that's probably mm. not going to help people's depression anyway. Yeah. 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 Matt, what do you think? Yeah, no, I, I agree with you. And, and the thing is, is they're only rolling out to, I think, it's five stores. So they're, they're more after the virtual impact of this yeah. than actually mm. doing any good with it because it's not really making uh, five stores. This is about the online play and get yeah. lots of uh, lots of viral spread. Yeah, only. okay. Moving on now in sports, Illustrated is famous for its swimsuit edition, of course, but this year the sexualisation has been toned down somewhat. Instead, it's celebrating the first Muslim model to be wearing a hijab and bikini. Um, Hamima Arden was born in a refugee camp in Kenya. She moved to the US when she was seven and now she's gone back there to pose for the magazine. Dee, what do you think? Well, we, Matthew and I were having this conversation um, before because we're both a bit on this. Like, partly you think, yes, anyone should be able to be on Sports Illustrated, but are we just widening the pool of women who can now be objectified? Because Sports Illustrated is. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. So, and I, yeah. I, this thing is, like, is, is it sexy or is it sexualisation? And, mm. and I, I kind of am uncomfortable a little bit in this space. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, and a swimsuit edition is a swimsuit edition. I realise you swim in part of that outfit, but not all of that outfit. So, 
the the lines are a little bit blurred there too, yeah. Matthew. And, and it's sad because it's actually quite an amazing story that she has. That, mm. That's fantastic. I just question the medium. And I mean, Sports Illustrated is classic of sex cells. That's mm. what that edition is all about. Yes. Swimsuit edition is about sex cells. Mm. Does it really fit here? I'm not so sure. It'll be interesting to see how this edition sells mm. and whether this, you know, whether it, it is in keeping with the rest of what they're doing. But, but I like to see some diversity. It's Absolutely. more interesting than seeing the same old thing, like yeah. every edition. I, just, I get bored with the Sports yeah. Illustrated <laughs> magazines I've got at my house, the same thing. I just wanted to mention this before you go, guys. A Pakistani waiter is cashing in on the frenzy over the Game of Thrones final season. Rosie Khan is a dead set ringer for oh, Peter nice. Dinklage. Wow who plays Tyrion Lannister in the show and is often mistaken for him, really annoys him. So now he's playing it up in his acting debut for a Pakistani delivery service. Um, <laughs> That's really and, funny. Uh, well, why not? You look like someone. He's cashing Good in. Good on him. Good luck to him. Absolutely. Yeah. And you can't get in trouble for licensing like that because you're actually... You are, you are who you are. You are. Exactly. Smart. Thank you, guys, for chat today. That's so good. Coming up on Weekend Sunrise, they're about to come knocking and asking for help, see what the Girl Guides are offering this year and how that money is developing some amazing Australians. Stay with us.